So one of the things that you did during the pandemic, as I understand it, was launched this series called The Ides. Yeah. So, you know, usually in, at, at least at my level of music, where you're making a living and I, you know, this many years in, I'm making a, no complaints, like I'm making a good living, but you're not like fame. You know what I mean? You're not famous, famous. You're not, you're not playing a, you're not in the, in the, in the pool of artists who might be considered for like the Super Bowl halftime show or anything. And you're definitely not a, you know, a household name. <laughs> Most of us make our living on the road. You know, mm -hmm. that's like where the money comes from. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's for all the reasons that you could probably just imagine, you know, casually in that like Spotify has really, and streaming services of all types have really changed the way that we consume music. Most of us don't have like, you know, a whole wall full of vinyl anymore. Some do, but not too many. Like I don't have as many CDs as I used to. We listen no, to them. I know. I mean, I, I, we, um, we were clearing out some CDs from, from uh, another home and, um, asked our kids, well, you know, these are really lovely. And both of them kind of looked at me were like, I don't have anything to play those on, Mom. Yeah, like a holographic <laughs> coaster, why would I want this? Um, <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so so I get it, you know, but I, I get why it's also, you know, exciting for the consumer. I mean, I have, I have like my playlists on my phone, you know, and, and that's so nice to have them in my pocket all the time. But how musicians get paid in this new model is, mm -hmm still very difficult and yet that's easy to do for, to the math right too right? doing the math quickly is easy as well like if you think of <laughs> clearing out cds which is the only thing we really do is cds right you know as i was clearing mine out too if you're thinking man that's 10 bucks a pop you know that we added it up we think we think it was close to ten thousand dollars in holy just, i mean well between our family because they're yeah. big music consumers and um and this, i mean this is over years this isn't like one year's worth of purchases, yeah, yeah this is the collection by the time you put them all together <laughs> Yes. And it would take a lot, uh, you know, it would take a really long time to get to 10,000 bucks, you know, on a Spotify free subscription. <laughs> it's infinite. Uh, uh, um, yeah, that would be like more than the rest of my lifetime. <laughs> yeah. And so, so what, what is the model now? So it mo so whereas um, musicians have, I think, often had like multiple income, mm -hmm. revenue, you know, st um, streams of revenue. Right now, the touring revenue really does loom large for, you know, for the for those artists that I mentioned who are not household names like me. Mm -hmm. So so the biggest and kind of most important part of our careers from a monetary perspective is the touring one. And that, of course, is the one that we were unable to do during mm -hmm. COVID. So what people still sometimes buy uh, CDs or or MP3s. Yes, but it really it really isn't a sizable chunk of the pie chart of our lives usually usually um so during this kind of you know during this really unusual time I, speaking to my friend and, and manager becky hoffman and we thought the usual model where you work really hard you write a bunch of songs you record all of them and then you put all of them out and then you run around the country or the world you know performing them until people get tired of it. And then you go and do it all again. That's kind of the cycle. Mm -hmm. It usually takes about 12 to 24 months. Mm -hmm. that you're, well, that's best practices that you're supposed mm -hmm. to do that. Um, yeah, I'm told I'm told that with musicians, you have an infinite amount of time to produce your first album and then no more than two years to produce your next one. It's exactly that, yeah. <laughs> and it's also like all the feelings of your life, you know, from zero to 25, you know, your first tooth, your first love, your first big disappointments. And then it's like, well, what happened, you know, in the past 18 months that I can write about? Yeah. <laughs> and I think a lot of times that's why you get so many songs about being on the road is because that's the only thing that's happened <laughs> since they wrote their first album, myself included. Anyway, we thought this model can it doesn't serve obviously during this time frame, and so we decided instead of recording a bunch of stuff and saving it all up to do kind of a more rolling mm -hmm. release where um, once a month we released a new song and we released it with like a fancy bit of custom kind of deluxe merch that mm -hmm. would help pay for the campaign because we didn't have touring income anymore. So I was trying to think of like, how do we get people to remember that it's a monthly thing? Ah, oh, what if we called it Ides? Because we could then, you know, release it in the middle of every month and people would remember when they saw that those dates kind of coming in their calendars mm -hmm. um, to go and check for the new track. 